on the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield IMG College. This is the Fight for Iowa podcast, brought to you by Athletico Physical Therapy, Atlantic Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Buffalo Wild Wings, Iowa's Corn Farmers, Quick Star, Green State Credit Union, and by Extreme from Mediacom. This is the Fight for Iowa podcast. Here's the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. Despite parent and player pleas to rethink the postponement of fall football, Big Ten Conference Commissioner Kevin Warren issued a statement this week reiterating there would be no reversal of its original decision that, quote, The vote of the Big Ten Council of Presidents and Chancellors was overwhelming in support of postponing fall sports and will not be revisited, end quote. The reasons for no play specifically relate to the coronavirus transmission rates that continue to rise at an alarming rate, medical concerns during more intense practice sessions, even with regular testing, the general student body's return to campus, and reintroducing the infection into the athletic community amid concerns surrounding contact tracing. Now that we know Big Ten football is sidelined for the rest of 2020, how do the players stay sharp and focused for another six months? They're that far away from a game day. Iowa quarterback Spencer Petrus joins us on Fight for Iowa right after this. More Fight for Iowa after this. Despite living in uncertain times, Iowa's corn farmers remain optimistic that their now-planted crop will grow to feed livestock, fuel your vehicle with ethanol, and be part of over 4,000 products that you use every day. The Iowa corn farmer plays a vital role in our state, and we are proud to call Iowa home. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. Athletico Physical Therapy remains open to safely provide physical and occupational therapy treatment options in clinic and online during COVID-19. Delaying treatment could mean additional expenses and prolonged pain. Visit athletico.com. Request an appointment in clinic or virtually through a secure online video chat via FaceTime or Zoom and start feeling better tomorrow. Now back to the Fight for Iowa podcast. Here's the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. At Marin Catholic High School near San Francisco, Iowa quarterback Spencer Petrus erased Jared Goff's name from the passing record book, tossing 50 scores to just two interceptions his senior year. Now, Jared Goff guides the Los Angeles Rams. Spencer Petrus, with that big arm, a body to match, and a terrific release, will settle for some playing time with the Hawkeyes. But that won't happen till spring. Home in California for a few days, the six foot five, two hundred thirty pound slinger mentioned the season's cancellation was like a giant boulder falling on the team. Definitely a, like a gut punch. Uh, you know, we all, uh, you know, we'd all heard heard the rumors, uh, whether it was on Twitter or just you know talking to, uh, you know, you know players and coaches. But uh, you know, it doesn't make it any easier when you when you do hear it uh, that we were pushed back to to the spring and. You know, definitely, definitely very challenging, but, you know, it's just it's some adversity. We'll be all right. Just uh, it doesn't make it any easier, though. Sounds like you guys, all you guys had bought in uh, in anticipation of a terrific year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, at least speaking for myself, I, you know, I basically like socially hermited myself uh, the whole summer. Um, and I know a lot of guys, you know, we didn't do, you know, you didn't, we didn't go out to, you know, do whatever uh, that you normally would just because, um, you know, we felt that you know, in order to, to have a season, we need to do our part. And, uh, you know, I think it, it just makes it, it just makes it tough. Cause I think we did a lot of, you know, our team really wanted to play and, and we did our part this summer, but you know, it's out of our control obviously, but yeah, definitely very, very tough. We, we wanted to play and, and, and we had a lot of, a lot of guys bought into, to adhering to every rule that they, that they gave us. A quarterback enjoys a good visit. In other words, he, he's a communicator got a great personality. Uh, you have all those to go with a big arm and a, and a big body. And, 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 then, and then the other skills, uh, the aforementioned pocket skills, drop back, roll out, uh, and a terrific release. And I, I just like the way Coach O'Keefe a, a, approaches uh, the development in, in a quarterback, what he's looking for when he's recruiting. And, and obviously you agree. Yeah. Uh, no, Coach O'Keefe's a great coach. Um, I've learned – you know, so much since I've been here 
Um, and, you know, especially uh, with footwork, getting the ball out on time. Um, and, you know, we made a, we made a lot of – I made a lot of strides, as, as have, you know, every quarterback that's been here um, just in, in the important stuff, you know, getting the ball out on time, uh, getting it in the right, in the right spot to the right guy at the right time. And, um, yeah, you know, like you mentioned, obviously you have to have, um, you know, the prerequisites or you have to be able to, you know, throw the ball well and, and, you know, move in the pocket, that kind of thing. But, um, he's definitely an awesome coach, uh, has a, has a really good, really good way of, of teaching. Um, and I, you know, I think we all, you know, have made, have made huge strides under him. First time I sat in the quarterback room last year and just listened to all the quarterbacks and Coach O'Keefe interact, uh, the uh, the first word that popped in my mind was relaxed. It's a relaxed room, or or maybe that should be a confident room. But I'm guessing Coach O'Keefe instills a lot of that in you guys. Yeah, no, I mean he every meeting, every every day he he begins with uh, this day in history. he gives us a joke of the day and then he, he gives us a quote of the day. Uh, so he, he definitely sets the tone, uh, keeps it relaxed, uh, which is really, it's really awesome because it's, it's the best way to learn in my opinion. Um, just cause you know, we're all, we're all relaxed. We're all, uh, just kind of focused on getting better. Uh, not worried about anything. Um, but no, you're definitely right. Uh, it's, it's a relaxed room. We like to have fun, joke around. Um, and really that all comes from, from the way coach O'Keefe, you know, conducts the meetings. He does a great job. Iowa's always had tremendous uh, success in, in developing quarterbacks, guys that maybe had uh, one or two offers or guys that have had 12 or 15 offers. But I think of uh, Chuck Long, uh, the great Chuck Long, uh, to Chuck Hartlieb. Uh, in my years of, of covering Iowa, which goes back to 1997, at least in the present role, there's Brad Banks, uh, Nathan Chandler, Drew Tate, Ricky Stanzi, uh, and on and on to present day, Nate, Nate Stanley, of course, uh, uh, last year. And, and w- whether they're small and diminutive or big and burly like, uh, like Spencer Petrus, uh, it, really, it really does get down to uh, utilizing the skills. But, but, but a lot of it has to do with the Iowa system, too. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I think that, the, you know, Coach O'Keefe and, and Coach Ferentz have, have done a really good job of, um, you know, like you mentioned, you got to utilize the quarterback strengths. Um, you know, the things that, that Ricky Stanzi can do really well might be different than what Nate could do or, or what I can do. Um, and, and obviously it's all, it's all done within our system. Um, but, you know, utilizing the strengths of each, of each guy is, is the way you're successful. Um, and I think that's why you've seen such, you know, you've seen such good quarterbacks come through here is because, you know, our coaches really do know how to, to utilize our strengths and to put us in the best position to to make the plays and, and to play well. And I knew I'd leave somebody out, C.J. Beathard. <laughs> James, <laughs> James Vandenberg, I'm still going to probably leave somebody out, but it's, it's really been unique, uh, the different uh, sizes and shapes and styles of quarterbacks coming out of high school that have been uh, molded into uh, the next Iowa leader uh, and, and, and uh, implemented and, and engineered and quarterback that, that NFL pro style offense, uh, Nate Stanley, uh, 68 career touchdown passes over 8,000 yards through the air. What did you learn from him? What did he leave you, uh, Spencer, uh, when, when Nate, uh, graduated? Uh, a lot. Um, you know, I got to sit behind him for two years and, uh, you know, he was great. Just, you know, I, every, every week, every game week, I'd be in the right there next to him, uh, you know, watching the tape and preparing. And I really got to see, um, I'd say number one, how he prepares. Um, he, he's an extremely, extremely dedicated uh, guy in terms of preparation, um, watching the film before the game, making sure you understand the game plan uh, and, and really what you're going to get on game day. Um, and then also, you know, how to be a leader. You know, I think Nate um, was a perfect example of, of how to lead by example. Um, a guy that, that always showed up and, and he always did the right thing. And um, I, I took from that just, just the ways that, you know, different, there's different leadership styles. Like I, I'm, I'm more, more of an outspoken guy than Nate, than Nate was, but, um, he, he did, he did, he did him, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't fake about anything. He was him. And, um, you know, he, he was an outstanding leader and, and obviously a great quarterback too. Kenny O'Keefe says you have a great release. Uh, what's he mean by that? Uh, is it a point of release? Is it, uh, 
Armcock, uh, what, what is it? Uh, take us inside the, the skills of Spencer <laughs> Petrus. <laughs> um, yeah, in terms of my release, you know, I have a, a pretty, pretty high release point. Um, just my arm slot, you know, just a natural thing. I release it high and, um, you know, I'm 6'5 and I have long arms. So, so it actually helps because, um, you know, I'm able to get the ball over any kind of defensive lineman that puts his hand up or whatever it may be. Um, and I think that's what he's referencing. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a good answer. Uh, you know, an outstanding quarterback has to trust his teammates. You certainly know that. Let's start uh, with the offensive line. Now, granted, Tristan Wirfs is gone, but Coy Cronk is transferred in from Indiana, a fifth-year guy. And, and of the names we're familiar with, uh, Alaric Jackson, uh, Tyler Lindebaum, Cole Banward hopefully is back and healthy, uh, Kyler Schott. There are others in that offensive line. But uh, as you know, traditionally, uh, not only do the Hawkeyes develop great quarterbacks, they, they develop outstanding uh, offensive linemen, many who end up playing on Sunday. Yeah, no, uh, we got three practices in, in fall camp. And, and from what I could tell, like those – our linemen were, were ready to go. They, we have a lot of really talented guys. Um, you know, even Coy, who's only been here since January, uh, has really picked it up fast. And, and obviously he's got a ton of experience, really good player. And, um, you know, Lark's the same way, uh, you know, great, great player and um, has played a lot of football, a lot of good football. Um, you know, Tyler Linderbaum is one of my best friends, you know, roommate. Um, and, you know, I, I trust that guy with my life. So it, it's good when you got guys like that, you know, on the a line and, and yeah, like you mentioned, Cole Banwart, uh, you know, Kyler Schott, Justin Britt, Mark Kallenberger. We got plenty of guys, uh, you know, that can play. And um, our, our line is, is look pretty damn good. More Fight for Iowa after this. The dining rooms in all Buffalo Wild Wings in Iowa are now open. To ensure your safety, all high touch point areas will be cleaned with increased frequency. Tables have been repositioned to allow for a minimum of six feet of separation. And all menus, cutlery, and cups are now single use. We look forward to seeing you back at Buffalo Wild Wings soon. We're brought to you today by Green State Credit Union. Green State Credit Union is with you during these times of uncertainty. Membership is open to all Iowans, so visit greenstate.org, greenstate.org, and learn more about ways we can be of service to you. Green State Credit Union, a proud supporter of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Now back to the Fight for Iowa podcast. Here's the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. Pass protection uh, is one thing. Uh, run blocking is another. But th- this might be, I go back to the throwing game, uh, of which you will be a vital part going forward uh, once once the Hawks can play. This might be the uh, collectively uh, the best group of receivers that Iowa's had in the Kirk Ferentz era, uh, starting with Amir Smith-Marset. Uh, you've got Brandon Smith, Nico Regani, uh, Tyrone Tracy. Uh, there's a wealth of uh, gifted receivers there for you to pick from. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's very true. It's very, you know, the, just being in practice with the guys, uh, you know, tight ends included tight ends, running backs. Um, you know, we've got a lot of guys that can, they can do some special things with the ball in their hand. And, and you really can't ask for more than that as a quarterback. Um, just knowing that um, if I get the ball out on time and, and put it in the right spot, that these guys are going to make plays and um, you know, they each have their own strengths and they, they really, they're really all, you know, explosive athletes, talented, um, and, and whenever we do get on the field, you know, we're going to, it's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. Like you, I'm anxious to see uh, Sam Laporta now that he's got a, a year under his belt at tight end, but Sean Byers, a veteran, uh, Josiah Miaman is a young guy. They, they really like, they've recruited some outstanding tight ends. So, uh, you're, you're going to have plenty of targets. So if, when that day comes, we know it's going to come. We're not sure when, but, uh, with that said, you, you mentioned the running backs, you got to have a balanced attack at Iowa when Tyler Goodson and, and, uh, Makai Sargent, two quality gifted uh, tailbacks who can catch the football through the air as well. Absolutely. Yeah, no, and, and um, that's, that's almost my fair part. I mean, obviously, <laughs> you know, they, gotta be able, they, they both run the ball really well, but they, they're really good, um, really good hands. They're good route runners. And, um, you know, the beauty, the beauty of the running back is that, um, you know, it's a guy that, that knows how to run with the ball in his hands. So if you can get him the ball uh, on a throw – um, you know, it's just an explosive play waiting to happen. Um, and, you know, Ivory Kelly Martin, too, really good player. Um, you know, we, we've got a lot of good running backs um, that, that, all, that all can play. They can, they can really play. 
Hawkeye quarterback Spencer Petrus with us for another minute or two. Uh, uh, a West Coast kid, I mean, uh, you, you broke all of Jared Goff's records at, at Marin uh, Catholic High School. What endeared you to uh, the University of Iowa that ultimately made you uh, cast your lot with the Hawkeyes? Um, yeah, I mean, just, just throughout that whole process, um, you know, obviously uh, I was committed to Oregon State and there was, a, there was a coaching change right in the middle of my senior year of high school. Um, and and the first thing that, that really jumps out to you, uh, at least, you know, for me, because, you know, I didn't know anything about Iowa, um, uh, you know, just being from California, but um, just they, they play good football consistently. They have, you know, Coach Ferentz obviously uh, has been here 22 years. At that point, I think he had – it was his 20th season or maybe his 19th. I can't remember. But um, just that, you know, there's – they've been there. Uh, they're, they're successful. They know, they know what to look for, uh, that kind of thing. And, and, and then when I came out and visited um, – you know, the Midwest and, and Iowa especially is football country. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's cool to see it as a guy, you know, I'm from California, you know, football is not number one here. Um, and as a guy who, who loves football and football is number one in my life, it's cool when you go to a part of the country where, you know, football is number one. Um, and, and just, you know, the culture at, at Iowa is special and, um, you know, kind of all those things is what, what, what drew me out there. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm so happy I, I did make that decision. And I would think uh, playing in a in a quality Power Five conference like the Big Ten uh, had something to do with your uh, with your uh, decision to come to the Midwest. Oh, absolutely! No, I mean you can't ask for better better competition than the Big Ten, and uh, you know any competitor wants to play the best. So, absolutely. Well, you've been handed the keys to the car. Now you've not been able to drive it out of the showroom yet. But when you turn the ignition on, hopefully in January, February, uh, and and we do have college football. Uh, you feel you're ready for the test, ready for the challenge. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, we were excited. I was excited about this season, uh, this fall, but, um, you know, obviously now we just get, you know, some more months to prepare and, and it's, it's my job. It's our job to, to when the time does come that we're, that we're ready to go. We're full speed ahead. And, uh, you know, we take advantage of the, of the, you know, the receivers we have tight ends, running backs, um, you know, that's my job. And, uh, you know, once we get back to back to work here, it'll be time to go. Well, Spence, I've enjoyed our first uh, lengthy visit here uh, on our Fight for Iowa podcast. Uh, we'll look forward to uh, hopefully soon uh, not doing Zoom and doing a face-to-face interview and, and talk about this week's game. But I really appreciate your, uh, your visiting with us today. Uh, I know Hawk fans do as well. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me on. That's Iowa quarterback Spencer Petrus. We'll come back and wrap up this week's Fight for Iowa podcast right after this pause and a word from our wonderful sponsors. More Fight for Iowa after this. Fight for Iowa is brought to you by Quickstar. Quickstar is committed to serving our communities and ensuring access to all essentials during these challenging times. They'll continue to provide fresh milk, bread, eggs, butter, and more as well as your hot food favorites, including pizza. Quick Stars got you covered when you want to get in and out quickly and safely back home. Thank you, Quick Star. Today, your internet connection is more important than ever. Extreme, powered by Mediacom, has the speed you need with 99.9% network reliability. Atlantic Coca-Cola Bottling Company is proud to support the local communities in which we live, work, and play. Every day, Atlantic Coca-Cola Bottling Trucks continue to help the food and beverage supply chain by delivering products to retail outlets and those restaurants providing carryout and delivery services. We know Iowans are resilient, and together we are stronger. Now back to the Fight for Iowa podcast. Here's the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. Spencer Petrus has the arm strength and the work ethic to be a quality college quarterback. For now, he'll continue his role as a social hermit. He's taking all his classes online while sharpening his football mind inside the Hanson Performance Center. Petrus and his teammates, like hibernating bears, will slumber out of the spotlight and wake up hungry for whatever football schedule awaits them in the spring. That's this week's show. Thanks for joining us. Stay safe.